Lagos State Government says it is keen to ensure that awareness against gender-based violence reaches every nook and cranny of the state. The state government's hosting community women at the sensitization meeting to understand the root causes of domestic and gender-based violence, especially in the home. Our correspondent, Wilson Nomoni, has more. The United Nations had declared a 16-day of activism against sexual and gender-based violence, which the Lagos State Government has keyed into. The State Government, while hosting women from across the state, says gender violence is pulling a fast one in homes. Just on Saturday, the story of a 10-year-old girl was defied by a father's friend here in Lagos. It was all over the news. I urge you to return to your various communities and sphere of influence to cascade the message to the people that rape, defilement, domestic violence, gender violence, and others have no hiding place in Lagos. But how does the state eliminate this problem? Stakeholders are asking for speedy dispensation of justice while preventing abusers from their formative years. How come when people go to the police station, they don't get the kind of uh, response that we expect from them? Now, if I'm abused and I go back to the community, there's stigma, there's, you know, a lot of stigma against me. To begin to speak to families about how we can begin to engage our young boys, the boy child from home, while they're still young. Because the Yoruba will say, if we don't as families and as parents begin to empower our young people, we will lose our boys when they grow up to men. Others believe there are enough laws to prosecute offenders but need more information and proactive effort from government to deter perpetrators. Um, there are so many laws that we have, right from our constitution to the child rights law to the criminal law of Lagos State and domestic violence law. Anybody that is caught with photographs or videos or computer generated um, images of child, of a child, you know, in a pornographic situation. Punishment is 14 years imprisonment. If you are in a position where you have witnessed a child being molested one way or the other, maybe you're a school teacher, you're a civil servant, you're a doctor or any, anybody like that, and you do not say anything, attracts a punishment of two years. Now it is three years. The government is asking parents to play their part in ensuring matters of domestic violence are addressed and the need to educate their wards so as to end the cycle of ignorance.